Okay, Holly, so this is your first go at a foundation tier paper one. You are predicting a score of around 39. Um, 60 is what you need to be aiming for by May in order to guarantee that grade C, or more than 60. Uh, so let's see how close your estimate is to that. Right, to round that to the nearest 10, the nearest 10, that's the unit column, that's the tens column. So your answer is either going to be 8730, so 87,030, or 8740, because if 36 is nearest to 40, so that what you're looking for is 8740. That's correct. Factors of 16 are the numbers that go into 16 exactly. So 1 and 16, uh, 2 and 8, 2, 8 to 16, and 4, 4 are 16. So the factors of 16 are those. So for that first question, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, this question, um, the value of 8, again, units, tens, hundreds, thousands so the eight is in the thousands column so its value is eight thousand write down a square number that is less than a hundred and has a tens digit of eight well um, what you need to do there is know what your square numbers are so one is a square number because one times one is one four is a square number because four fours is sixteen three threes are nine so nine is a square number and keep doing that until you find the one that's in the 80s and what you end up with is 81. Take a look at how I go through these questions uh, on the video clip because there's certainly ones that uh, you need to be able to do in order to get anywhere near a grade C. This is something that we're going to be looking at uh, next week but what you've got there if they asked you for a fraction would be 2 out of 8. Okay, now 2 out of 8 is the same as 1 quarter, because you can divide both of those by 2. That's what we've been doing practicing this week. And then um, you should know it's a common equivalence. A quarter is the same as 25%. When you try to estimate something, um, you make your numbers as easy as possible. So that is actually closer to 75 than it is 74 and multiplied by 99 is horrible. Multiplied by 100 is easy. So what they're looking for there is for you to round it to 75 times 100, which is then that. Um, and that isn't a prime number. So again, you need to know what your prime numbers are. Prime numbers are numbers that only themselves and one go into. So um, 13 is a prime number because nothing else goes into it other than 13 and one. 12 isn't a prime number because 4 goes into it, 3 goes into it, and so on. So you're looking for the smallest prime number bigger than 20. So again, really, you would be expecting for both of those questions to get full marks. Um, so watch me go through this in the video, and obviously we will be practicing these quite a lot over the next few months. Um, Okay, the next question. 20 times 24, take away 150, is the right method, but then you've got to actually work it out. So 2 lots of 24 is 48, and then because you're multiplying by 10, it's going to be 48 with a 0. Take away 150, and then work out that answer. So again, that is something that we will be practicing. That is a cone. This has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides, and eight sided is an octagon. That's not a prism. A prism means that you can cut it, and every slice you cut will have the same sized cutting face. There's no way that you can slice that where that would be the case. That's a pyramid, or a square based pyramid. That is a diameter. That is a tangent, which is spelt like that and that's known as a chord so two marks there one there 
for, for the page. Now with this one you've got one line of symmetry there but there's actually a line of symmetry that goes through all of those diamond shapes. So you've missed out two out of three so you won't get any marks for that one. And with this one the diagonals aren't lines of symmetry because of those arrows on those two lines. If you turn it up that way hopefully you can see if that's your mirror that hasn't crossed over to there. So you haven't got any marks for that. For perimeter, the perimeter is the distance all the way around the outside of that shape. Um, not that, so you've got that wrong and that's wrong as well. So again, um, you need to watch me go through that on the video clip because you need to be able to follow uh, each step. Watch that on the video clip because you should be able to do it. Down five is correct, down four is correct. That one is, that one isn't. If you're at negative one and you're going down three, that means you're getting three degrees colder. So it'd be negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. But you've got three, right? So you get three marks for that. So with this one, that's in the right place, 12.4 is in the right place, but that one isn't, that one needs to be, because um, each little square you, as you've worked out is a half, that's 20 and a half, 21, 21.2 would be around there. So you made a mistake on your plot. Also you then need to draw a line through them for a conversion graph. So you've lost both marks there and you've shown me no method for how you've estimated that. So unfortunately no marks there. Two marks there, well done. Again, that's something if you watch the video clip, I'm sure you will have practiced that before the November exam. 66 is not right. 66 is what that angle there is. And you should recognize that those two little lines mean it's a special type of triangle, an isosceles triangle, which would make that 66 degrees as well. And then you should know that inside the triangle, those add up to 180. So taking, adding those together and taking away from 180 is what you're looking for. So you get one mark for calculating the 66, but then you haven't done the right thing with it. And with this one, the first thing that you need to do is to work out what that angle there is by taking that away from 180. You get one mark for recognizing that inside they add up to 360 but then you lose the two marks beyond there. So first of all, work out what that is, add up those three, take them away from 180, from 360, sorry, to get the right answer. I'll go through that in class. That's something that we'll practice um, pretty soon. The price of a new car is not that. The new car will have an age of zero. So it's that value there that we're looking for for the new car and on yours two and a half year old will be so they're going up in two hundreds um, so two thousand two four six seven that's fine and your line of best fit is good so four marks for that question and that isn't correct with you and neither is that certainly we're going to be practicing questions like that over the coming weeks but take a look at the video clip of how i work through those if you want to revise them uh, more quickly again this is something that 
um, is worth watching the video clip to see how I develop that. And we're up at the higher tier part of the paper now. Um, and again, if you take a look at the video, hopefully that will make sense. So you think 39, I don't think you've done as well as that, I'm afraid. 6, 10, 13, 15, 17, 21, 21. Right then, Holly. So we've got quite a lot of work to do because that is a grade G. Um, you are five marks off an F, but you are 60 marks, sorry, 40 marks off a grade C. So, um, you know, there's quite a lot of work to do, but we've got plenty of time to do it. And certainly with those earlier questions, um, familiarity with them will make them a lot easier. So um, quite a lot of work to do, but we've got the time to do it.